All right, next up, Marco, this is your first pick, Bob James Nautilus. It's a Japanese pressing right here, and man, dope. what an amazing record. Tell us about it. <laughs> it's Bob James, for a producer, is very overwhelming, because when you're looking for samples, I mean, depending on the sound you're looking for, you have a certain vision, and I just feel like when you listen to Bob James's catalog, mm -hmm. it covers all the spectrums of sounds you want, and I mean, he's been sampled how many times I watched the episode you guys had with? Oh him, yeah, but like, like three it's, or four hundred, like th three or four hundred that are listed on who sampled. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. way more, than, more that. than that. Though. Yeah, yeah. But basically, my journey into hip hop, discovering it, but more importantly, discovering production, is hearing sounds like Primo and RZA and Q Tip, what they were using, and going like, "What is that?" And then finally stumbling across the original samples, and then you know you hear Nautilus taking you to the Mardi Gras. My dad gave me the BJ Four album on vinyl mm -hmm. and then discovering his whole catalog was just it's just amazing man like the transitions and what's crazy about bob james is that he'll have these evil intros that got turned into beats and then it'll just go somewhere else completely crazy um, and then back yeah like it'll yeah. get happy it'll get sad and i'm like whoa like how did you just have the hardest four bar loop and then it goes to literally like this, wedding music or, right yeah, exactly yeah, i hear you i never yeah i never noticed that <clears throat> and this song has been sampled in so many different areas like yeah. Daytona 500 and the intro keys have been sampled by everybody right. you know J Ru Q Tip uh, Primo um the drums Large right. Pro uh, I'm pretty sure was on um Illmatic anyways Bob James is a legend I got a chance to meet him yeah. at the Blue Note um in New York and he was like the coolest dude and I was like man I told him I said take me to Mardi Gras Nautilus changed my life and he looked at me and he's like shit they changed my life while holding <laughs> a glass of wine he kind of reminded me of my dad but yeah this is just a real important this is like a staple and another thing too is it's funny how a lot of these guys that shape the sounds of hip-hop like you know they had no idea at this time they would be like right. these dudes that were just doing their thing making jazz music yeah and like literally are important part of the musical side of the culture for us as producers you know? one, one of the interesting things he told us in that episode um when we had him on the show is that like Nautilus was like an afterthought, and that's why it's the last song on side B on the record. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad, you, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because, yeah. like I was telling Ace before, these are all album cuts that nobody paid attention to right. when they came out, and that's no shots that he had his bigger sing his radio singles, and it's all these album cuts that literally peop you know, people discovered them and they turned into breaks yeah. and loops that we know on. Producers are always trying to find something on a record that nobody's gonna nobody's gonna go to the last song <laughs> yeah side exactly beat, right? i'm gonna find that joint yeah. nobody's <laughs> looking for now yeah. i mean you've made a lot of classic beats like i'm sure you've have you ever sampled bob james you don't have to shout out the song no, <laughs> but I, I, i'm sure you have i'm sure i have i, sure I, I you have it, it, it was probably that beginning part just that little just like that yeah you know, yeah. yeah amazing all right bob james nautilus again <laughs>